Hello, today we continue the last video to understand the Hello World program line by line. The first line is number include IO stream. What it does? Let's remove this line by comment it out. Double slash and C++ is to tell the compiler to ignore the rest of line, then we try to compile the program, and we see that there is a compilation error. The error says C out was not declared in this scope. So if we don't include IO stream, the compiler doesn't know what is C out. So we can guess IO stream has something related to C out. Let's check it out. IO stream is actually a file under slash user slash include, but I don't remember the exact path. We can use find command to locate the file. Here we go, we open the file using vi to check. In this file, it further include o stream and i stream. And we find namespace std, and also find c out here, and which is of o stream. Therefore, now we know that IO stream has definition of namespace std and C out, we have to include IO stream if the source code use them. Let's fix this compilation error and compile again our program. Let's move to the third line which int main. int is short form of integer, which is a return value of this program, in our case we return 0 here, 0 usually means success, without any error during the execution. Main is the first function to execute, you can define many functions in the source code, but the main is the first function to run. The next line is cout. Cout is used to display the text in this hello world program. Cout is standard output stream which take the text as an argument using the two less than character and output to screen. Let's see what happen if we skip the two less than character. There is a compilation error for sure, but the compilation error says expected semicolon before string constant. This is not what we want, we want the cout to output the text, so we add back the less than characters to resolve the compilation errors. The less than characters are difficult to understand, however, you may consider the shape of this characters. It is pointing from right to left, exactly moving the text from right to cout. Next, we are going to understand the double quote characters. Anything between two double quote characters is a text, a string in C++. If we skip one of the these double quote, compilation error will occur. End. L means a new line. In our case, after C out display the text hello make learning fun, C out display a new line. Lastly, the return zero. This is used to tell the caller, this function is executed with or without error by the return value, zero means no error, non-zero value means error. Let's see what exactly this return value does. When we execute the program, it is actually the shell execute the hello world program. Therefore the hello world program return a zero value to the shell in this case. Using the command echo dollar question mark, it can display the return value which is zero. Let's do some experiment to change the return value to something else. Compile and run again. Using the echo command, and we can see that the value is 1 rather than 0. However when we execute the echo command again, the value becomes 0. Here is something tricky, when we run the echo command, it basically is another program which has return value, this return value will overwrite the return value from the hello world program. This time let's change the return value to 27. And compile and run again our program. Here we go, we can see the return value is 27. Thank you for watching our video, hope you enjoy it, and please subscribe our channel, thank you.